Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. This is episode six, part two, um, where we're going to renovate Jim T's shipping container home in between episodes. So before episode seven, he's going to have a brand new house and, um, his shipping containers are going to be built up a little bit more. So let's get into it. I almost want to bulldoze everything and just start over. But what I'm just going to do is put everything into is what happened? My bugs are miserable. They're famished and the collection is not ready. Oh dear. I'm going to put stuff into my inventory. I'm worried about the plants though. I feel like I should harvest those before I move them everything goes into my inventory so what I'm gonna do is just put everything into my inventory except for the plants because I feel like the plants they might reset if I move them my wind turbine also needs to be repaired next time I play these wall lights my glorious wall lights another one right there upstairs All right, upstairs, upstairs. Where is Jim T anyway? Oh, <laughs> that's right. He wouldn't be sleeping because he's not, I'm not in the active game. Whoa. Did I sell anything actually? I guess I can't put those in my inventory. Good to know. We definitely need to be generating more power. Any wall lights in here? No. Go down. Wall light outside. The grill. Recycler. We can put these in our inventory, everything except for the plants. And then I think I will jump into live mode to harvest the plants. One more wall light, bathroom. I want you to come down here and harvest these plants. Harvest all. And then I can move them without worrying about them resetting. You're gonna work from home. All right, stand over here. So I wanna make this longer. Four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's make it 10. Move these out a little bit more. I, I'm not sure about this fence. Because I really didn't like the gate in the first place. So, move. Move this. To here how many wide is this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I think ten by four is reasonable one two three five six seven eight nine ten okay so from now on we're gonna use that can I move everything Just moving it forward a little bit. Yes. I want to wipe clean the terrain paint. That. Okay. And then. Oh, yeah, this one had a, a door too. So I think. Man, I don't know. I want like a front door, an actual front door. All right, for now, this will be fine. 
we're leaving it so up and then not take that out too and then take this ladder the ladder system we had is not working so if i take this and can i add a foundation to it So it is on a foundation. Oh, what the heck happened here? I don't know what I'm trying to do. This should not be a build video. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm going to be right back so I can build the structure. Okay, so welcome back. I have gone through and changed a few things to his overall layout. The same structures sort of remain from the front point of view and so then I'm going to furnish it while I'm filming now. So we have one shipping container, the blue one that we originally started with. We have added on a green one which will probably be our kitchen and dining room inside. Uh, we have his bedroom up here. We'll probably add a bathroom as well in the bedroom um, and then this is I'm very excited about this one we have another shipping container in the backyard and that is his pool so he has a deck that's built around it and there's two ladders going up each side and it connects to this little patio area so I've extended this and everything and then he's still gonna have his telescope upstairs I just put everything in his inventory for now and I wanted to make sure that I got the structure and I was very happy with it. So I love this layout. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. If I should add anything or if you have any other ideas. I also wanted the layout to make sense to where he wasn't going up and down the, the ladders. It wasn't the most efficient way before. So um, we'll just go through and furnish the house now with everything that's in his inventory. I need to build out the, the bathroom that's upstairs currently too okay so i think i still did want a ladder on the inside here and right in that little bump out would be nice but i think that's where i had the bathroom before so let's keep the bathroom there i mean that could just be for a sink and a toilet toilet which is the one i found on the streets or in the dumpster we have a sink here it is. Sink and toilet. Okay. And then we had that funky bathroom door. This one. And I have the swatch that matches everything else. Actually, let's move it to the side here. Um, I think that would be good here. And then that way we could put like a desk or something in this corner here. We do have one of those charred desks. I find desk inspiration desk let's put that there so we have our kitchen area so the fridge I'll do countertops or counter space right here eventually we also have a dining room table that he crafted this one and that's not that big we might want to put that one outside and then this bigger one in here. Fabricated dining chair. I could just put that against the window for now. We had a slider back here too. Let's add the slider. So that might actually move. A wide slide to the slide, slightly more vertical door. Jeez, that's a tongue twister. That's the one I had down here. That, and then I wanna make sure I get the same window upstairs here. Let's filter these by, I'm trying to use only stuff in the Eco Lifestyle Expansion because then I'm utilizing the pack. It's kind of weird, but it's fine. At least you have a nice view of the pool 
We also have this, these side windows. Those will go look good here. And then here, that, yeah, that's the same. We want to add a bathroom up here too. So, what if we did it on this side here? Actually, I could just put it right up to here. Pull it in some. I mean, that's a decent sized bathroom. What do you think of that? Door for the bathroom. Could be like right here. And then this is his bedroom. Let's lay out the furniture. Do I have a side table? I thought I did. Here, and then this is for his TV downstairs. Let's see, we have couches. This could be like a little reading nook. We've got the bookcase here. Let's do move objects, move objects. There we go. Place those on top of it. I don't know, I kind of like this spacing in here and then the, the TV will be... I've got to have some kind of a... Rug. What was I saying? I've got to have some kind of a TV stand, I would think. But I guess I don't. they can get around there that's good then the TV we got one here that matches that little shelf this stumpy little candle put that back there I don't even know if I should save this little tiny candle anymore it's fine all right oh he, he does have a, in a side table like that and then this can go outside I don't know what happened here That's good. And then, oh, our inside flooring and such. And if we use a darker one for the bathroom, we could do some kind of a, let's see what other floors we have for this pack. I mean, wood for the kitchen would be nice. It's kind of like looks like it was built on after the fact up and then let's do a gray it looks like the exact same one for downstairs but that's fine and then we have this one for up here some kind of slate wall what is the footprint it's green okay that's good so we'll have like kind of a blue slate bathroom upstairs and then we'll do the black slate wall for downstairs. Let's put one of our lights, wall lights up here. Beautiful. And I know that that configuration might not work. So let's try this. We need a window. I know I'm jumping around, but that's just how I do the little window. That should be good. So it's just a toilet and a sink downstairs. And then <clears throat> I've got those other windows upstairs. We wanted to add some big windows on the side. Let me just make sure I have all my furnishings in. We got a chair can put. This poor lonely fridge. I'm 
just stick that here for now. Our sad little bugs will go back outside. Our grill outside. Oh, we got another armchair, but this could go upstairs actually. Here, maybe the fabricator can go in here. Oh, I already have a chair. <laughs> This can go outside since it's so grody. I don't know, something like that for now. And then we have the wind turbine. Take it off, move objects. I want to be able to access this in case, I mean, because it is broken, he'll need to fix it. I'll keep it there for now. I don't really know. Okay, so this bathroom will need another toilet. So right now, we just have a shower up here and a light not on the ground fix that the recycler I mean that can go up or downstairs but I think it should go under the, the cover here maybe the grill should go on this side just outside the kitchen I'm gonna need a platform to walk down right here just pull it in some, go over here, watch my perfect plants. That should be good there. So this table will go right here and I'll add chairs as I can. Get this foundation and then get this flatted wood to go here. Also the stairs, I want it to go down the side. Like that. Perfect. Railing. Should I do the railing the same? Why not? Here and here. Perfect. Alright, that's good. I mean, I guess I could bump that all the way out. Just like that. So the grill's just down there. Okay. Um... Now, how am I getting to upstairs on the inside? I think I need to add a ladder, maybe right here in the middle. Up. Oh, that's exactly where I wanted it. Perfect. That couldn't have worked out better. All right. What else do we have in our inventory? The candle making station will continue to be out here. Maybe right. I think that's fine. Am I happy with that door? Yeah, I want some windows here. Let's do this and this. And then I will not put the shower right up against that window. Then top deck we want the... Like that. What else do we have in our inventory? Where are we going to sell our wares? Maybe I could just sh shove everything over a little bit and pick a spot in the front yard. Let's do that. Move it like that. Yes. Okay, so the selling table, I mean, we could probably just, yeah. There. That's good. This is a pomegranate tree, so we will put that on this side, maybe over here. I don't know about fencing it in. I kind of like it open. We'll see if people start to help themselves, but sharing is caring. Um, okay, so we've got this fabricated floor light, which can go upstairs. watch TV in the bedroom just like that so ladder getting up top now um, do we want it in the same position no I think I want to put it right over here make it the same color so it blends 
I think that will be perfect. Pull up. Let's just take off the grid so I can see it. That looks nice. It blends in. So we have stairs to get up. We have inside ladder. We have the ladder on the top. And then we have two ladders on the side in the back there to get to the pool. We'll see how we go. We'll see. We have to play test it a little bit first. So, okay, this is looking so good. He doesn't have anything else in his inventory, right? Bar stools, an extra, an extra bed. We have another desk. I honestly don't know what I would do with it though. Maybe I can use these desks over here for counter space until I get counters. I mean, I don't know what else to do with them. And then we have all of these guys. Yeah, let's just put these on the bottom. That looks good to me. All right, we have 3,000 to spare. So I think we would also want, all right, let's just make sure we have all of our windows. We need windows here. Yeah, some of these have like an angle to them. Yeah, I like that, this one that curves that way. Kind of cool how it bumps out like that. Alright, now we're over here. I think we want one of these for up here. That's where like the sinks will go, like the counter space. And then this one can have... Oh, here we go. Here's a slender one. Perfect. I don't know. It's, it's all kinds of crazy, but I like it. Yeah, we don't need any windows on that wall. But we do need wallpaper here. This has a build discount. Ooh, I kind of like that. It's earthy. It's light color. Ooh, what do you think? That's really neat. Now we need to add green, greenery. A plethora of greenery would make it look so cool. So we have flooring, we have lights, uh, flooring up here. We'll use a tile even though it's not Eco Lifestyle. Tile. Yeah, I like that. This white with the slate. I like it. Alright. And then we have our window here. Yeah, this looks so cool. All right, I do wanna furnish it just a little bit more with some plants. So I do like these wall planters that um, Eco Lifestyle came with. What other swatches does that one come in? I like that one. And then what about this one? Let's do that one. And then we got some vines, which I think would look really neat. Oh, that would look cool as like a divider right here. I'm gonna have to move objects that. Yes. Oh, that looks so cool. That's so cool. I'm excited about it now. Oh, my money is disappearing. I've got some plant life, though. I've got curb appeal. I really like this one. I just wanted to put this by the, the pool area up here. So I think it would just complete it. Just like that. Should put one of the chairs out here. Doesn't fit, but you know what? It's a place to sit. Doesn't fit, but it's a place to sit. Hallelujah. All right. We have $646 left. I think we are doing good. This is our build. Um, <clears throat> I also, well, when we make some more money, I only bought one extra solar panel but we're gonna need more to generate more power, for sure. I've got this that I need to fix, but um, we definitely will need to add more power resources. 
all right thank you so much for watching this build video i had so much fun furnishing it after we got more space to work with and i really like those dividers inside and adding more greenery on the inside i think next episode we need to work on the woodworking table we can make some plant boxes so that way we can put them on the patio upstairs and stuff and then eventually we will learn how to make hydroponic planters from the fabricator so that's something that we can work towards in the future but i'd love to see some more greenery kind of layered up top i think uh, we've made a, a great jump in our progress in the house and that pool in the back that's just this is one of my favorite parts and jim t really needed something to have fun with so i think uh I'm really excited to see him just, you know, go swimming and kind of lounging in the pool. I don't think we can find floaties in the dumpster, but we sure will try. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time. Have a fantastic day.